Hello, this is Professor Scott Norman at Pittsburgh State University and today we are in the automotive fuels lab and we are going to be doing uh, pour points and cloud points of diesel fuels. Okay, so we are currently at zero degrees, so zero degrees outside and I wanted to show you what this diesel fuel will do and so if you notice, if you look at it, uh, over uh, half the samples all clouded off. So obviously that stuff um, is going to clog up filters and cause all types of problems in the fuel system. So zero degrees, you better be putting some type of fuel treatment in your uh, diesel fuel to prevent um, the clouding up of the fuel. The next step to this process would be to check pour point. In order to check pour point, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this thermometer and I'm going to bring it all the way up to the very top. I'm going to put it back down inside here. Now the, the top of this fuel is going to be a lot warmer than the bottom. So if the bottom's at zero, the top of it may be at 15 degrees right now. And so I'm going to put it in there and I'm going to see at what temperature this whole entire sample becomes a, a wax uh, and it does not flow at all. So for every five degrees of drop, I'm going to take this sample out and I'm going to turn it sideways. And if, and if the fuel flows, I have not reached my, my, um, my pour point yet. So when it stops pouring is when I know I got my pour point. And so will it be zero, will it be negative 10, will it be negative 20 on this sample? Uh, we'll find out. But the bottom line is at that temperature, your whole entire diesel fuel is nothing but a, a wax. It's a solid wax, no flow, and you are not gonna go anywhere at all. We're about finished with our experiment. And so uh, what we did is that we did our, um, our cloud points on um, four different samples. And so what I did is I took, um, and I, I got three different supplements. So, 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 so one sample I did normal diesel fuel as a baseline. Um, on the three other samples, I, I used um, diesel 911 in one sample. I used Howe's diesel treatment in another sample. And I used diesel fuel supplement in the third sample. And so we'll take a look and see what the results are. Right now, the bath is still at negative 80 degrees Fahrenheit, so very, very cold. And so my uh, first one, which is my normal diesel, which right now we are at a temperature of negative 20 degrees. So this is already. I turn it sideways and it does not flow at all. It's a solid ice cube right now, the fuel is. And so this particular sample, um, that had a cloud point of plus 20 degrees is where it started to cloud, and at negative 10 degrees is where it finally went into what I call an ice cube and it stopped flowing. So so again, that was not, was not poor point. So that's my sample, okay, as far as my baseline. When we did the diesel 911, Okay, the uh, cloud point was at plus 16 degrees, so we didn't see a big change there, you know, only a few degrees. And when I took a look at the, um, at the, at the pour point, it was also at negative 10 degrees. And so, so the funny thing about that is that yeah, right now we're at negative 20 degrees, so it, it's actually solid, and it's been solid for a while. So what, what we discovered is that um, diesel 911, which is a very popular supplement, does nothing for, your, um, for prevention. In fact, when you start reading the, um, the instructions on it, it's for adding to your um, tank after the fuel has gotten so cold at negative 10 degrees that it is nothing more than a, a big uh, uh, solid chunk of fuel is what it is. So this one is not good for prevention at all. Now the other tool, we'll do the uh, we'll do the house is what we did. So this is my sample, and right now we're at negative 40 degrees. Now last time I checked was negative 35, and it still flowed. And if I turn it sideways and take a look at it, it is now an ice cube. And so the house did an excellent job, and oh, it's flowing just barely right now. But I'm going to say up to negative 40 degrees, it still flowed a little bit. So. So, so maybe the pour points at negative 37, negative 38, uh, but, um, but did a really, really good job uh, lowering the, uh, the pour point from negative 10 down to at least negative 35. The, um, the cloud point on this was at uh, plus 18 degrees. So again, my baseline was at plus 20 degrees, plus 18, a few degrees. So it really didn't help out a whole bunch on the um, pour point side, 
but on the lower end of, uh, I'm sorry, Cloud Point, but on the lower end of Port Point, it did a really good job. The last one we did was the, um, the diesel fuel supplement. Okay, so this product here. And again, the, um, the, uh, the Cloud Point was similar to the house. It was at uh, plus 18 degrees, so two degrees uh, better than normal diesel fuel. So again, not much of a change there with that. But my uh, poor point, if I turn it sideways, it, it currently is um, barely flowing. It's just barely, barely able to flow. And right now we're at negative 40 degrees and it's just barely moving. So, you know, I would probably call my uh, poor point, you know, somewhere around negative 38, negative 39, negative 40. It didn't flow when I first took it out, but as it warms up, when I take it out, it starts to flow a little bit. And so, so again, so the, the um, the, uh, the diesel fuel supplement in the house did an excellent job to stopping the uh, the fuel from um, uh, 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 freezing up solid <laughs> to where it was nothing more than a big ice cube on that. And so this is how we test the cloud point and the pour point of fluids, particularly uh, diesel fluids. If I tried to do something with biodiesel, I would see that the temperatures are a lot higher. If I uh, tried this with kerosene, I would see that the temperatures are a lot lower as far as um, cloud point and pour point. This is uh, Scott Norman, and if you guys are looking for more educational uh, videos, you could uh, look at my Professor Pintain YouTube channel, and I also have a website, just look for ProfessorPintain.com. Thank you very much. You guys have a good day.